Right now, I'm polish ten toes down. Hey y'all, it's me, Egypt. Today we are going thrifting. But first, I do want to get into a little bit of inspiration that I'm going for for this trip. Putting together kind of like a mood board or a Pinterest board of what I want to find guides me through the trip. I love going into a random thrift store and just looking around seeing if I find something. But when I'm actually looking for something specific, I just feel like I have a better trip. Also, I put on a really cute outfit because I'm really trying to like draw the vibes to me, okay? That's what I'm trying to do. Ooh, like a nice fitted leather jacket will be a staple in my closet. I would literally have that forever, wear that forever. Mini skirts, of course. Belts, belts, belts. I never wear belts, but today I just felt like in a belt mood. I'm gonna show you guys my outfit before we leave. But yeah, I want belts and boots. I have this one pair of boots that I thrift through. Literally the only shoes that I have that are from a thrift store. And they're perfect. And I'd be seeing a lot of people thrift like such good accessories. That's what I want, accessories. Ooh, maybe that's our focus. So let me show you guys my outfit so we can go thrifting. All right, y'all, this is the fit. Almost two years ago, I thrifted this top in New York. I love it, so cute. And I actually thrifted this at the Goodwill Bins, which was crazy. I vlogged it. So if you guys wanna see that, go watch it. It was really crazy out there, guys. It was like literally a competition. I wasn't ready for it, but I did win in the end because I got a lot of cute tops like this. Says so Armani Exchange. I have these pants that I thrifted. I'm pretty sure I thrifted these at Goodwill in Tallahassee. No, 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 no. I thrifted these in Hollandale, Florida. Love these. The color is so unique to me. It has a flared end, and I just love the way it stacks at the bottom because they're super long, even in my platform. These are my platform Uggs. Literally wear them to death, like that the fur right here is coming off. I got these like two, three years ago. Then this thrifted belt. Don't remember which thrift store I got it. Oh. Same as the pants, same place. And then I just put this hat on because I didn't feel like doing my hair and I needed something to tie in my black shoes. And then if I get cold, I have this little cardigan jacket thing. It's really comfortable. I'm pretty sure this is from, I wanna say yes style. It's 95% cotton, 5% polyester, which is pretty good quality. 100% cotton would be better, but we can't get everything we want in life. So I'm fine with this. And yeah, this is my favorite. I'm probably just gonna do a black tote bag because I need something to carry all my stuff that I'm gonna find today. Manifesting. I did a lot of talking this time around, so let's just go thrifting. If you couldn't tell, I'm very excited. All right, this is the second time I had to record this voiceover, the whole entire thing, so let's just get into it. Although I'm having technical difficulties, I'm still excited to rewatch this footage for like the fifth time. We're gonna say the theme of this thrift trip is spring slash summer wardrobe, okay? So I'm gonna be having little pictures and stuff from my Pinterest board that inspired me or made me take notice to these items because Pinterest is really that girl. She's unproblematic in my opinion and just overall very inspiring in multiple aspects of my life including thrifting i thought these would have been the most perfect heels for me to still go along with that flower heel trend but the heel was pretty damaged so i appreciated them and then moved on I've also been seeing a lot of heeled heels and then baggy boots over. I really like that combination. So that's what made me notice these. They weren't my size and I didn't really love them. These, I thought somebody else would appreciate them. Again, I don't really love them, but you know, somebody else might. Then I found a lot of ballet flats to go along with the ballet core vibes. These Steve Madden heels reminded me of Timberland boots, so that's why I recorded them. They were cute. If they were my size, that would have been great. Then I found some ballet flats with bows. Bows are taking over right now, so. Thought these were like, they were giving me 90s prom and they were so beat up, oh my gosh. Then I saw these boots that reminded me of my Doc Martens, but I think they were like Forever 21 brand or something like that. And then look at these mud shoes. These look like they're straight out of a catalog or a magazine from the 2000s maybe, but $30? Mm, no thank you. 
There's so many little shoes here and they're all black. So I was like, wow, this is literally great. I didn't really see anything I loved more ballet flats. Look, you can thrift stuff so easily. Or maybe this was just a really good thrift day. But then I saw these. I thought they were cool, but they are very cheaply made. And I wasn't loving that look. But I did like the heel part. More booties, even though I don't wear short boots. I don't know. I just like showing you guys things that, you know, you might like, even if I don't like it. Then I saw these hats and the rock wear pants i am focusing on finding accessories so after these pants distracted me i got my head back in the game and i went straight for the bags which is where oh my gosh so good then i saw these little bags with little pockets on the back and i think the pockets were for flip phones so i thought that was cool saw this louis i didn't know if it was fake or real but it was really beat up then I found this bag. I love the denim and the silver. I open it up. It says Neiman Marcus. And tell me that brown bag wouldn't match those mud shoes that we saw earlier so perfectly. Then I was recording these bags because, I don't know, I like the shape. I don't really love the color, but the shape was nice. This Rockaway wristlet. I don't know. I was like, should I get it? Should I not? I wasn't loving it until I opened the inside and it was in such good condition. So I was like, hmm. Then I found this coach bag. It's like a tote bag, but so cute. And then I found this other coach bag, but this one was really beat up too. The inside was really pretty though. I love that color. I thought this was kind of, you know, it's giving Tumblr. Not my style, but maybe someone else will like it. And I saw another Louis. This one, I don't know, it was kind of nice. Even if it was fake, I feel like that one was cute and I maybe could put that to use. And this is when I realized I need a bigger cart. While I was doing this, I decided to kill two birds with one stone, RIP to the bird, and separate what I want and what I don't want out of my little basket full of purses. How cute is that? I was so blessed. I need to go back. I need to go back. If you guys are interested in shopping on my Depop, I have some stuff on my Depop. Not from this trip. I'm selling some items, you know, they're pretty good affordable prices. Nothing is above $20 on my Depop. So if you're interested, you should buy something. Because what I'm trying to do is get rid of items so that I could fit more items and feel better about having more items. As well as using the money that I'm getting from my clothes to buy more clothes, basically, is what I'm doing. So if you support this channel and you want to see more thrift hauls and shopping trips and you like cute clothes it's a win-win for us all i'm just saying shameless self-promo Now we're in like the shapewear lingerie section. I don't really have a particular order. This time I did because I was prioritizing accessories. But usually when I go, I just go. But now I'm gonna start having like a guided thrift trip because I, I just think overall it's a better experience. I did take a long time though, can't say that. But there's so much stuff to look at in here, you know? Even if it's stuff that I don't like, I don't know, I just like looking at it. It's cool, it's fun to me at least. Isn't this kind of cool? I, don't know, I saw a lot of cool belts, but for the prices and for kind of the style that I was going for, I didn't find anything that I wanted, but I did find a lot of cool belts like this one. Look at the little charm. That's so adorable. Thought this, I'm basically showing you guys everything that I thought was cool to summarize. So I don't know, should I play the music or should I just keep talking about everything? man i wish i got that belt the only reason why i didn't is because it was pretty damaged and this was on it i don't know what that was but such a good belt gone to waste man so sad then i saw these chain belts but i already have a chain belt so i didn't get another one because i thought that was unnecessary i love how this thrift store is coordinated by colors because i could just go to the black section and have the time of my life but it's so interesting because i rarely find things that are black in this store so far the times that i've gone so i just still look through everything because you never know what you might find that is the joy of thrifting for me it's just the mystery you know every time's different it never gets old it never stays the same if it does you can just go to a different thrift store boom new adventure i don't know that's just me though
look at this look at the way that fabric is just like dropping and tears i thought that was so cute then boom she and top and then boom another vintage item that i thought was cool not my style but pretty cool then i saw this skirt i'm pretty sure it was two dollars or eleven dollars i don't know but it's guess it was a size 12 so not my size but i love the style of it if it was my size i definitely would have gotten it it's perfect honestly i am a little bit more picky with certain things because i already have it and i don't want to just be buying clothes just to buy clothes so an item really has to be perfect for me to buy it which is good because that means i also won't buy a bunch of stuff that i don't need and i don't know i feel like there's even more joy in being very picky at the thrift store because there's so much you can easily walk out the thrift store with 20 items because there's so much stuff but let's try to make it a goal not to do that is what i tell myself because that's how it used to be especially at goodwill bins i would go and i would leave with so much stuff and when i moved out and i had to clear out my closet oh my goodness i really hope that doesn't happen to me ever again in my life because that was so terrible i donated so many clothes back and it made me realize also how i never wore half of the stuff that i bought so cheers to being more choosy in life not just with our clothes with friends significant others jobs schools hobbies everything nothing wrong with being choosy in my opinion so that was our life lesson session with egypt life lesson session Ooh, that has a nice ring to it but let's get back to the video right now i'm just going through my cart because there was way too much stuff in it and i got rid of more than half of the stuff i felt bad going to the lady that was doing like fitting room stuff and giving her all the clothes so i just kind of dispersed them throughout the store myself which i don't know i just felt way better doing like i would feel so embarrassed going up to her giving her like 20 things that she has to put away herself I found this Victoria's Secret sheer thing. It had the underwear attached to it, but I definitely threw that away when I got home. And I am so sad about this dress because I think it's perfect, right? It's $3. <sighs> it's gorgeous. $3. I'm just staring at it the whole time. <sighs> and I don't want to spoil what happens, but just know it's very sad what happened. And I'm just going to say it. I didn't get the dress and I'm very sad about it because I'm watching this and I'm like, oh my gosh. The only reason why I didn't get it is because I couldn't try it on and I wasn't sure if I was going to like the fit. I'm, well, I'm lying. I could have tried it on. I just didn't feel like it. Then I saw this, but I was like, Egypt Beefer, what are you going to do with this? Well, honestly, doesn't IMG make something like this? Obviously, theirs has more coverage because this is literal lingerie, but I feel like I can get away with it if I added the lining bottom was kind of short it's pretty revealing also so i don't know it was a maybe for me then i found these dicky pants which is a staple also let's talk about how much i hate my nail color in this video it's pissing me off i can't lie can i say that on youtube These were so nice and the condition of those were really good, but I really needed to try them on because I'm very, very picky. We, we talked about this, so I don't have to keep repeating that. I have to try things on and if I can, I'd just rather leave it because I don't want to risk it. Found these vintage guest shorts. Um, again, perfect condition and gorgeous and beautiful and in my size. So we loved her. Also, a lot of these items were just stuff that, you know, I've seen on Pinterest that could be styled in a certain way, but they just weren't my style. Style, you know so i only really got things that were my style even if they were cute because i think a lot of things are cute but not everything's my style and i'm i'm very happy that i have figured that out you know because again that makes me avoid buying clothes that i'm not gonna wear just because i think it's cute if that makes sense it does it sounds like it doesn't make sense but if you know you know and if you don't try to understand so if you're watching where i'm placing the hangers the side on the left is the side where i'm like maybe slash no the side on the right closest to me like in directly in front of me is the stuff that for sure i'm getting do you see the amount of clothes on that side that is terrible i was going crazy i really went crazy that's like what six things <laughs> This is the stuff that is for sure a yes. 
And then I still ended up taking some of the stuff out at the register because I was like, eh, I don't think I actually want this. Then I went for another round, like I told you guys, and I saw some more stuff like this Sean John jacket. And it was in $54, it was $5. And I tried it on, it was a just a bit too oversized for my liking, so I didn't get it, but I'm having second thoughts about it because I feel like that would be a cool jacket to have. Then I saw this ESPN hockey jersey. It's like some type of, I don't know. But I was going to a hockey game that week and I thought that would be perfect. So I was very happy that I found it and this fit was good. The fit was beautiful. Then I found this Florida State hoodie and I really liked the design of it. It was new with tags also. And if you didn't know, I graduated from Florida State in last summer. So yeah, I'm a degreed woman. I studied information technology. So when I see FSU stuff, you know, I'm just very drawn to it and i saw this little athletic skirt thought it'd be really cute for the summer the fit just wasn't right though so yeah same with the skirt the skirt is cute i just don't see myself wearing it i don't know what it was about it that i didn't love and i also found it in the kids section shopping in the kids section key right but there's also things where it's like it doesn't give like it would give if it was a women's a woman's skirt like the design you know you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Just something about the skirt wasn't hitting for me. It fit really good though. I think honestly, if it was low waisted and maybe not that type of denim fabric, like actual denim, maybe it's the buttons. I don't know. Why am I still talking about the skirt? We're way past the skirt. Looked in the jackets, hoping I could find like the perfect leather jacket or one of those race car, NASCAR, Eminem. You know those jackets? I'm gonna insert some pictures cause I'm, I'm on the hunt, okay? You are now watching me try on clothes. Look, you guys can see how this Sean John jacket fit. It was just too oversized, you know? I kind of like my stuff to fit a certain type of way. This just wasn't enough for me. All right, here's the hockey jersey. Basically, I tried on everything that I could with what I was wearing. I'm in the fitting room right now. Then we looked at the jewelry because I'm kind of finding I'm trying to find more jewelry, but their jewelry, in my opinion, is just overpriced. Overpriced. How much was those little bangles? I can't even remember. I thought this was so cute, $15. I don't know, maybe I'm cheap. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Cause I did see a lot of cute jewelry, just didn't feel like paying the price for them. And the lady was taking forever to get to me. So I was just like, whatever. And then someone was blocking the literal, literally the entire display. So I couldn't really see everything. So I was just like, um, yeah, I'm not doing this. And the only reason why I got to see these rings is cause a woman was looking at them before me because they put them like behind the counter and then you have to request to see them i thought they were cool the price is just no hey guys it's me live from the wendy's bathroom came here to use it i was literally right by the thrift store so i just walked over one i blew a freaky bag in that store but i got so much good stuff i paid a lot more for singular items that than i would but for what it is i was like let me just get it like i paid 20 dollars for a bag and i also paid 15 dollars for a jacket but to me it was worth it so yeah i can't wait to show you guys everything i got and i feel like we should definitely do the styling too i actually look really cute today all the stuff that i did in the beginning before i went thrifting literally set the tone for my future i came looking like a baddie it got more clothes to look like a baddie i kind of thought of like a guideline of things that i want basically got everything that i want so yeah